Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna cover how to enable the desktop UI for your applications, and also how you can set up cards in your detailed views to better display your information on large screen sizes. As you can see here in this example, I have my deck view here on the left side of the screen, and on the right side of the screen is actually the detail view that's associated with that record. And you can see that these details are now separated into separate cards with headers for each of those cards, and then the associated field values uh, down below. So we'll go into first how to enable desktop UI, and then how you can develop these cards in your detail views. And this is only applicable to the desktop UI. These cards won't be visible if you're using your app on a mobile device. All right, let's get into it. So I'm going to be using an app today that is a very simple project task management app. I actually built this app in five minutes in one of my previous videos. I'll put a link to see a little pop up there that you could click on to view that video if you're interested, but we're just going to be using this video as an example. So, so first off, um, as a side note, as a side note, app sheets updating their app editor UI. So what I'm showing you today is basically the new interface. So you should see a little button here to switch over to the new interface, just in case yours looks a little different than what you're seeing on the screen. So you can basically just toggle it on or off. So the first thing we wanna do because we're dealing with a desktop app or more specifically a desktop feature, we're going to enable desktop mode. And this can be found under settings uh, and under the view section here uh, called general. And you'll see this option called desktop mode, right? So this is, how you turn that on for your app so that when you view your app in your browser, you're taking advantage of this new user interface that's available. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So in my app, whereas before I have a, an, a mobile app essentially that's been forced to fit on a large screen where you still bounce around to multiple views, but you kind of lose context of where you are in the app when you enable the desktop mode for your app. When anybody's using the app in their browser, then the app will automatically make better use of the screen size in their app. So now when I click on projects, for example, when I click on a project, I now have panes that will pop up. And as a user, I can adjust this. And as I make interactions such as form edits, I'm not changing to different screens and losing where I came from in the app. So the desktop UI is definitely something you should probably just turn on automatically for all the apps. Right now it's currently in preview and I'm sure it's gonna be out fully for general availability in the near future. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the purposes of this video is, is to outline how you can make cards essentially is part of your, your detail view here. So instead of just one long page of details, how can I better use this screen real estate to pack more information without having to have the user scroll down the page to view all this information? So to do this, to create these cards, we're actually going to take a very similar concept to the form videos that I, I just made recently a couple days ago. And that is with the addition of show columns in your application. So what we want to do here is just like with a form where we could add different pages to add different cards to your detail view, we're going to add a virtual column here. And we're basically going to, you know, give this a general name, generic name uh, for now. And then just like before with the forms, this is a very clunky method that you have to just learn about to use within AppSheet. And we're going to change it to a show column and then click the pencil button again. And then select page header as the category. And then for content, we'll basically give this project overview. So we'll have a card for project overview. And then we'll also add another card, make it a show column. And then we'll give it another page header and then we'll, we'll call this card two additional details. So 
So I have these two cards set up. And now what we want to do is within the detail view for this project, I'm going to pull up the detail view. So to get there quickly, I just basically click on a project. And then down below, I could click on projects detail. And I am going to now add those columns and define the order of the fields that I want to display in my project detail. So I'm going to have card one here at the top where I'll have title, you know, we'll have status, maybe image available. And then we're, we'll have card two that we then add um, project comments and uh, related tasks essentially in this card. You can basically order it whatever you want for each card that you, you create with a show column in your app. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. So now if we jump in back into our app, we can start to see our, our cards that are associated with this project start to take shape. So I have my project overview card where I have different fields available. And then down below, I have my, my tasks that are associated with the project. And then I also have additional details over here in another card. Now, I don't have a lot of fields that probably should be used to properly illustrate this, but hopefully you can see the picture here that I, I, I am able to break these up now. And more importantly, when the user drags stuff around in this desktop layout, the cards will automatically resize to the proper layouts. And for this task management, I'm showing a lot of tasks by default, but I can also create some additional layers to the app if I wanted to. But first we could reduce the max nested rows in our app to reduce the number of tasks that are shown to make this layout a little bit more effective. And then maybe we want the image to be at the top and kind of be separate. So what we can do is we can go back to our, our, our data model and add the cover photo uh, for our, our image um, as a show column. So we'll choose image as the cover photo and make sure we choose image as the field to use. And then in our projects detail view, we'll add that cover photo and put that in front of the card and then hit save. So now when I refresh, I now have a separate card just for my photo itself. And I could, I could also go ahead and remove this, this extra image fields. So we don't, we don't have redundant images in, in here. You can see how this gets a little bit more cleaned up the more you, you break it down. So. As a result of the, using this technique, you can now see that your app is going to better utilize the, uh, the, the large amount of real estate of your screen. So whereas before I had something like this, where I had to scroll down the whole page to see all my details, when I use these show columns with new pages, I get these different cards and I'm able to show all that information on one screen without having to have the users scroll down to the different pages. So with that, thanks for watching everyone. And if you have any more questions about the new desktop UI, I'm happy to make additional videos of that. I just, you know, please leave those, uh, those questions in the comments and I will, I will make additional videos about this new desktop user interface. For the most part, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to turn it on and start using it. But there's also some other nuances that we can cover if run into some stumbling blocks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.